So go Tootsie ahead. Pops can take hundreds of licks to get to the center. Okay. It's the same. Pez. I thought I thought it was four. Yeah. Well, Pez is a short is short for a German word. Okay, not terribly surprised. So the name Pez Candy came from the German word peppermint, which is something. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, Pez. Three Musketeers originally had Neapolitan flavors. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you you like Three Musketeers? Not really. Yeah, they're like, I'm they're, not a huge fan. They're like down on my list. If it's there, I'm going to eat it because, like you said, it's chocolate. Yeah. I like them frozen. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Pomegranate seeds vary. Um, pomegranate can actually have any number of seeds. Well, that's a dumb one. I shouldn't be on this list. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, we've already talked about them. P potatoes are planted in space. 1995. And they're still there? Still growing? Doesn't say. Uh, radishes were once used as form of payment. Okay, interesting. In, a, in ancient Egypt, radishes, as well as onions and garlic, were given to workers as wages. Hmm. They were provided to workers because they helped with infectious diseases. What if radishes cures the COVID? I'm, you better get in touch with someone. I don't know. They should be trying that. I know. What about ketchup? What if ketchup does? I, we should try it. You. I hate ketchup. You know that. <laughs> Man. Oh, geez. What the? French fries aren't from French. France. <laughs> what the H? Okay. They're American, for sure. Uh, French fries were actually created in Belgium. Oh. They are called French fries because how they are prepared. They're julienned? julienned? Yeah. You yeah. know what that means? What's yeah. that mean? It's a type of cut. So oh. how that, the look of a French fry, of what you okay. know as a French fry. Okay. There's, you could dice them. You could dice something. You know, obviously, Julian, I don't know what some of the other ones are, but yeah. Again, Food Network. Thank you, Food Network. Yeah, yeah. Gum originally included birch bark. Okay. Yeah, Okay. Well, gum's one of those that, again, I think was created on accident or maybe as a medicine at one point. I, I forget, but again, there's a there's a history with with gum, bubble gum. Yeah. I'm I don't know big, it, but there is I'm, one. I'm not a big gum guy because I, if I do chew it, I just chomp on it and it goes bad in a hurry. Yeah. Twinkie, oh, yeah. Twinkies cream isn't real cream. <laughs> what is it? I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. It is bull semen. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> uh, and it's mostly vegetable shortening. And a single Twinkie okay. has 37 ingredients. Yeah. You like Twinkies? Uh, they're okay. I like them, but I don't eat them that often. I like them chocolate covered. Yeah. True yeah. that, yeah. Oreos used, Oreos used to have a different name. They were originally called Oreo Biscuits. That's okay. dumb. Seaweed is used to make dairy products. Trying to, trying to imagine that, but I cannot. How so? Um, Magic? A type of seaweed <laughs> is commonly used in thickening and emensifying agent in dairy and non-dairy products such as chocolate milk, cheese, ice cream, cottage cheese. Not buying it. Dorito is a Spanish word. <laughs> you know what okay. it means? Stinky socks. Smell like stinky they, socks. I get it. I get it. But I wonder what it really means. Little golden things. Interesting. Going back to seaweed, have you ever eaten seaweed? Not on purpose. Okay. Lollipops have a have plenty of history. Lollipops have been rumored to be invented by cavemen. 
by collecting okay. honey from beehives Ooh. with a stick and lick the stick to eat them. All right. I like that one. I did that one, yeah. I can I can see that. Figs are made think, by oh sorry, go ahead. Did the cavemen know that they were licking on bee vomit? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. No, no. Figs are made by fig wasps, which mate inside a fig, leaving it to blossom. Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> um be Bell pepper lobes mean something. What? So, four lobes. Lo are oh, you know, no, yeah, male or female, right? Well, it says four lobes are sweeter and are best raw, while peppers with three lobes are cooked, or maybe they just forgot the e in that. Are cooked are better cooked. Okay. I did not know that. I've, I've obviously I've seen where some of them have three bumps on the bottom, and some have four. But yeah, I haven't paid attention to how they're better prepared one way or the other. Corn can be used in pretty much anything. I believe there's more than four hundred four thousand different uses for corn. I bet folks in Iowa know every one of them. From pet food to fireworks. Fireworks? Yep. Nice. It's like peanuts. You make explosives out of corn. Canned white tuna has a high mercury content. I believe it. Three times more mercury than chunk light. Okay. I'm going to read the label next time, I guess. Decaf coffee isn't truly decaf. There is some Wait, coffee in it. Some caffeine? I've, oh, caffeine, yes. That explains a lot. That explains a lot. How do you get the caffeine out? Science? Some lab chemistry somewhere? Probably. Yeah, okay. Know. Oranges often have the same number of pieces. There are usually 10 segments okay. in one fruit. Next time I eat one, I'm going to count. Blueberries used to be named starberries by the Native Americans because okay. the be uh, at because the blossom at the end of the berries looked like a five-pointed star. Cool. Oh, this one. This one's going to get you. This, one, this might want to frustrate you. Strawberries aren't technically berries. <laughs> All right. I read Does this one in a different one, too. On the back or something? Seeds on the outside or something? Because they only have seeds. Wait. Strawberries aren't true berries because berries only have seeds on the inside and strawberry seeds are on the outside. Well played. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think like there's like two fruits that uh, have seeds on the outside. It's strawberries and something else. But I can't think of what the something else is. I'm going to Google search. What's the next one? What do you got? Pineapples were named for their appearance. Appearance, jeez. In the early explorers saw pineapples. They thought they looked like pine cones, which is how their tropical fruit got its name. Oh yeah, okay. Ice cream has ancient roots. It's been really? around for for a very long time. In the fifth century. BC, the Greeks enjoyed a dish similar to ice cream and from their love of ice cream grew. Okay. Oh, man. Chocolate chip cookies were created by accident. <laughs> well, good job. Yeah. yeah. I'm hungry for chocolate chip cookies and a glass of cold milk now. Just, just hearing you say that. Margarita pizza. You ever... Yeah. That's what Heather gets at when we went when for the forge. Anyway, Margarita Pizza was named for a queen. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, there was a Queen Margarita that visited visited Naples in 1889. And they got bored of the fancy food and they asked for pizza, which was food for the poor. And the queen mm. loved the pizza, mozzarella, the pie with the soft white cheese, tomatoes, and basil. And then it became mm -hmm. his margarita pizza. 
Nice. Thomas Jefferson is responsible for your love of pasta. <laughs> All Thomas, right. Thomas Jefferson did stuff for us. Yeah, good job, Thomas Jefferson. TJ is what I call him. But yeah, yeah, you have me too. Yeah, well, TJ. <laughs> love me some TJ. <laughs> Think about it, like I'm sorry. Back to the pizza one. You said it was it was known as pizza, uh, food for the poor. Yes, pizza's food for everybody now, man. It's I bet it's like eighty seven percent of the world population's favorite food. Ooh, eighty seven. That seems a little high. It does seem a little high, but but I'm sorry, lot. it was the first number that came to my head. Tommy Waddle. Yes, that's probably why. Yeah. There's a trick to retreat relieve. Listen, it's okay. There's a trick to revive stale bread. Moises uh, Alou, Moises Alou knew about it. You just okay. pee. It. You just pee on it. Yeah, right, right. That um, would, that would rehide. Actually, two two easy ways: run it underwater, and the other way is to heat it in the oven at 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit for six to seven minutes. The underwater, okay. I don't believe. Yeah, same here. That would just make it soggy and gross. Edible oysters don't have pearls. It's a pile of bullshit. Lobsters were once a common food. You like lobster? No. I love it. Now, I don't know if I've really tried lobster. Some of that seafood's really rich, and I, and I just, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Yep. They served as prison. Lobsters served, at, served as prison food. And it was, it was food for the poor because it was so plentiful. What? You're kidding. So when sad. was this? Does it have a date? It doesn't have a date, no. Right now I'm so getting you know this. know my in-laws. I'm getting this from, just real up. quick, from eatthisnotthat.com. Yes. Or no, it's, no, but that's the article. But anyway, go ahead. Your in-laws. Live in Florida, right? On yeah. the East Coast there. And mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, they have friends who have like equipment like scuba gear or whatever and they'll go um hunting essentially for for lobster and i love lobster but it's expensive it isn't plentiful anymore um but yeah that's kind of a bucket list item i would really like to the equipment is super expensive so you would have to either have a friend or rent it or whatever but i'd like to go out there and you know find my own hunt for my own lobster Nice. Hmm. Not me. Bro guess okay. what? G TJ did it again. Broccoli's here because of Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> and every kid in the world is so happy for that. Yeah. Thank he you. was quite the gardener. I bet. Well-rounded individual. You know the difference between, between broccoli and boogers? Uh, I've probably told this before on, on not the Gym Teacher Dreams podcast. Um. Kids, kids won't eat broccoli. <laughs> That's good. That is true because I've seen plenty of kids eat uh, boogers <laughs> Booger. in my last three oh. years at elementary. Oh, I bet. Oh man. All right, green cool. beans are covered in tiny hair. Interesting. They have tiny hairs on them so they can trap bugs. Green beans? Yeah, I don't know why. Okay. Limes were once thought to cure scurvy. I believe it. Citrus fruit. Yeah. Yep, and I, that is why, what is it? I, I think that's why people put lime in their beer. I think it like started with like pirates or something. I don't, whatever. That might be another yeah. research for another day. All right. Cauliflower comes in four colors. White and purple. It says, the next time you shop and pick one of the colorful cauliflowers to enjoy the additional nutrients and benefits. True that. It doesn't say what other colors? Orange and purple. And white. It only gives three. Okay. Why well, say four and not give us four? It's right, right. I'm, I'm going to write it. Red flag. It. Yeah. Lima beans contain cyanide. Okay. Their, Apple seeds do too. I've seen um, that on uh, forensic files. The beans are safe to eat as long as they are thoroughly cooked. Okay. 
And I mean, every time I eat lima beans, I make sure they're thoroughly cooked. So yeah, you put the you put the lima bean thermometer in them and make sure that the the inside yes. reads yes. the reads temperature. Okay. Yeah. Rhubarb's leaves aren't safe to eat. Rhubarb okay. isn't toxic, but the leaves are. They contain oxalic acid, which can lead to stomach and kidney issues. Okay. Here we go again. Cashews are not nuts. People they're have actually, been lying to us. They're actually seeds. Okay. All right. We're down to 14 left. Chili pepper flesh is the hottest part of the plant. Now, are they talking yeah, about the that. red hot chili peppers? Like if we go cannibalism yeah. and we eat them, that's their flesh is the is the hottest in the world, you think? The Red Hot Chili Peppers, what? the band. Oh, <laughs> it was going way over my head. <laughs> so, Thank yeah. you. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah, they're pretty hot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Kiwi is healthy for more reasons than one. Eating I'm not a ki kiwi fan. Eating kiwi helps your body process protein. Okay. Parsley will get rid of onion breath. Again, I will remember that next time for sure. Eggplant. Does dry parsley work too? Maybe I after know. I take a te teaspoon of nutmeg, I'll take a teaspoon of dry no, parsley. And two eat. teaspoons of nutmeg, not just one. Nutmeg. Two. Okay. Two. Nutmeg, yeah. Nutmeg, Egg got it. Eggplants aren't veggies. What? They're berry. It's a berry. No. uh, -uh. Yes. Do you know why it's called eggplant? No. Like in the infant stages, like when the plant is growing, the, it, they're like little white balls that look like eggs hanging from the plant. But then it grows and it gets the purple outer skin and it looks completely different. But in like the young stage of it, it looks like eggs hanging from the plant. I saw oh. this in an article or like very similar to one you're reading right now. Nice. nice. Bananas are clones. Whoa! The, People have been cloning forever. Then we didn't even know <laughs> the Cavendish Cavendish banana is seedless and can't reproduce. So every banana is a clone. It's crazy. Yeah, that one blew my mind. Papaya allergies and latex allergies go hand in hand. <laughs> okay. I hate pears. Um, Greek yogurt is high in protein. I know this. It's double the amount of protein in its regular counterpart. Okay. That's why, that's why Greek uh, yogurt's making such a comeback. Watermelon is Oklahoma's official state vegetable. <laughs> oh, come on. Watermelon is the official vegetable of Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahomians consider watermelon a vegetable. It's part of the cucumber family. But if you ask a botan botanist, they'll tell you it's a tell you the summer produce is a fruit. There's only one person I need to ask. It's the oh gosh, don't tell me. McGinnis family. McGinnis family from Thompson, Illinois. They're, they're who I go to for all my uh, melon questions. But they're not. Okay. All right. Chickpeas have many names. Chabanza beans. Yes. That's the only one I would know. Um, Sag, Sagana, Sagalu, uh, Chich, Chicha beans, Shana, Bengal Graham are all the same. Huh. Interesting. Who cares? Oats are used to make a lot of other foods. It's a stabilizer okay. in foods. All right. There's a world record for the largest tomato. How big? 8.61 pounds was grown in That's Washington a large tomato. State. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want to read this one. Don't do it then. 
soda contains some very scary chemicals, which we know. Uh, all right, ingredient sodium benzo benzonite. Oh man, yeah. Which my wife's been telling me to stop drinking pop forever. Yeah, people have been telling me that forever too. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Well, I skipped a few people, but uh, that was uh, like I said from eatthis.com. Eat this, not that. I thought it fit. It was very fitting for an episode of us once again because my wife does not like trivia and all that stuff. She what? likes facts. Okay. So when we play okay. games and stuff, and you know, she hates it when I ask her to play. Same okay. thing with same thing when I ask her why she doesn't watch podcast. And but but she, <laughs> she likes facts. So if we ever play a game with Heather, it will be factual. Fact. Fact related. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's cool. Yes. I love trivia though. I always I have for a long, long time. Like even as a young person, I felt like I was getting smarter. Even if I didn't know the answer, I was I felt like I was learning, you know. It was like school, but funner. Was, yeah. I know. Well, speaking of that, when you need to find an opponent, because I do have a yes. uh, five trivia. category, five questions, so twenty-five question. At least one round of trivia. Yes. This right. could be dangerous. But what if we put it out to our listening audience? You guys hit us up. And if you're the first one, you want to play trivia against me on the Gym Teacher Dreams podcast, you get a hold of Ryan Michael Piccolotti. Is there a way that people can get a hold of us? Those people that listen in Indochina, can they contact you or, or something like that? Gym teacher dreams at gmail. Gym teacher dreams at gmail.com. Yep. Perfect. First one to contact Ryan is going to play me in a trivia game. Yep. Boom. Boom. That shaka just happened. Laka. Yes, it did. So, yeah, gym teacher dreams, um, which we'll call it gmail. All right. So, that'll be Hit us well, up. That, that would be awesome. We found someone. I can't wait. Good to. <laughs> yes. And I hope it's someone from outside of the, what do they call it, continental, the, the United States? Right now, right now in our, in, um, we've got 9% coming from the United Kingdom, I think. Okay. Let me see here. Well, hopefully it's one of them. Yep. So that's not you. I, I want to know if that's you. We've Listening had, in the United Kingdom? No, <laughs> listening to the uh, episodes because, but I don't think it is because it, sh it talks about um, unique listeners. So there's different listeners. So it says that we have 14 unique listeners. That's awesome. But, so Thank you, each of the 14. So we're getting there or it's starting. Yep. And most. And if we, you 14 tell a friend, we'll have 28 before we know it. Actually, and then those 28 tell another friend iHeartRadio was leading, but right now other. So there, you know, some of the other sites that Anchor has got us on, 63% okay. is other. So not, you know, and then our heart our iHeart Radio is 19. So getting on Anchor is going to make a difference. And pretty soon we're going to be we're going to have a wide variety, which is awesome. Yeah, take if over not, the world. If not, I mean we we'll still do it because we do what we do. But yeah, but that is nice. That is nice. Listen. Rome wasn't built in a day, okay? So well, well, us taking over the world isn't going to happen in a day. Yes, sir. That's, yes. Huh? Yep. All right. Got to get some dinner. Gym Teacher Dreams podcast. 100 facts that I skipped a few. You know, seven, seven, eight, skip a few, nine, whatever that thing is. Oh, yeah. But um, interesting stuff. Well, it's a, so that's a, well, that Jake, our... our um, Fact checker is going to have fact to fact checker. Yeah, yep, he's going to have to see see if some of that stuff is real or was this just a fake episode or a fake uh, right. article. Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, make sure you tell a friend. Yeah, glad that you're feeling better, and um, you know, I don't know when, but one of these days we'll we'll be together again, again. on the episode. All right, True we that. love you, America, United Kingdom, and whoever Peace else up. listens to you. We out of here.